Hey, it's Rich, the Louisiana Hobby Guy, and today you're watching Lightburn for Noobs, and we're going to be doing some welding shapes to texts. So, Lori messaged me on Facebook and says, Hi, I'm hoping you can help me. I have the word welcome, but I want to replace the O with a sunflower. I want to be able to cut it out while returning, retaining the image of the sunflower. Can you please help? Well, I can, and actually I get a lot of messages and emails and things about this exact subject. So let's jump into Lightburn real quick and I'll show you how I would do it. So here is just the word welcome. On this I chose the brush script, which is similar to what she's got. And I went online and I got a sunflower and I just traced it. So there's my sunflower. So the first thing that I would do is I would take off the M and the E and the O just like that and now I would use the sunflower as the O and I'll take some more text and just type M E like that so now I've got three different items on my workspace now I'm gonna take this sunflower make sure that it's grouped up here and we're going to use this as the O. So I'm going to bring this over to here and I want it to be about the same size as the other letters, the one in the middle there. So I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger and maybe I should size that in a moment because what I would probably do to this is let me put this into a uh, filled course so that you can see it actually filled what it's going to look like because I'm going to make a change to this circle in the middle to try and make it look like an O. So I'll take the circle tool or the ellipse tool as it's called and I'll drag out a circle. Hold down shift so it's a perfect circle. Make it a little bit smaller and I'm going to put it right into the middle over here because what I want to do is I want to make this look like an O like that. And this is the way that I would do it. There are plenty of ways that you can do this. This is just how I would do it. Now I'm going to drag over both of them from right to left. And I'm going to group them together like that. And then I'm going to now make, uh, I think I'm going to bring this down just a little bit. Let's see how it looks now. Mm, that looks like about the right size. Maybe just a little bit bigger like that. Where it sort of looks like an O. And I want to make sure that uh, these two are, I guess, level with each other. So I'll drag over both of them, come up here to the top, and I'll align these horizontally. Nope, that doesn't work, so I'm going to undo that. So I just need to move this one down just a bit, like that. And what I'm looking for here, I want to try and keep these points right here connected. It's not absolutely necessary, but... Um, I don't think we're going to be able to do that because that looks like about where it should be somewhere like right about there and that's okay so there's my sunflower and again you can do this any of any type any type of way it doesn't matter so now I'll take this and bring it up here and line this one up to the bottom of this over here there we go and then I'll just use my right arrow key to bring it across and there's my M and my E. Now I don't have to uh, merge these together or weld any of this together. All I have to do is group it. So I'm going to drag again from right to left. And I'm going to group everything right there. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to the offset shapes on the left side. I'm going to click on offset shapes. We're going to do outward. We're going to do round, outer shapes only, select resulting objects, and that's good enough. Optimize or simplify the results, just so there are less nodes. So I'll click OK to that, and now it automatically selected the offset. So I'll come down here to the red layer and put that on the red, and you'll see now we've got exactly what Lori was looking for. But maybe there are a couple little things that we need to clean up in here. Maybe not. Maybe you like them. 
So if I click on that red layer, and you can also just hold down shift and click on the red layer here, and that selects the red layer. If I ungroup that red layer now, and then click off of it, I can get rid of these shapes that I don't want in the middle. So let's just drag over a couple of these, this time dragging from left to right. This way it selects only what's inside the box. And then we've got one more little piece right here that we can delete. And there we go. Now, if we press control on the letter A, that selects everything on the workbed and we can group it. And now you've got exactly what she was asking for. So now it will uh, mark and engrave the, w the word welcome and the sunflower and then cut out around everything, making it all one piece. So if we take a preview and if I turn off show traversal moves like that, you might be able to see this better. There we go. So you can see now it's going to engrave everything that she asked for right there and then it's going to come back and and we missed one piece right over here it looks like there we go that's everything so that one piece over there we missed so we'll go ahead and ungroup this again and just grab this one piece and delete it and now we can control on the letter a one more time and group it and that's the reason why you do the preview so there we go a quick and easy video today on welding shapes to text and I can't tell you how many times I get this video uh, I mean this request for a video like this uh, just so many people are looking to weld their shapes to a text and this is the easiest way to do it now one other thing is you could have and I could have um, squeeze this sunflower a little bit to make the O in the middle look a little bit more like this and maybe slanted it and um, I guess the way that you would do that would be to ungroup everything and now I think I just have this let me pull it off and see and that one in the middle I need to group so let me go into uh, wireframe there I can see it better so I hold shift and select that one group those two and maybe just or maybe ungroup them yeah that's an idea ungroup everything here and just select these two and squeeze it just a little bit and turn it just a little bit so maybe that would look a little bit better maybe turn it just a little bit more and squeeze it just a little bit more that might look a little bit better let's see but there there are all kinds of things that you can do on your own here and I think that looks good just the way it is and that that uh, welcome sign is ready to go now here's another way that you can accomplish this and continue using the same font that you've got in there so if we just come over here to text and we type out a lowercase o like that put that on the black layer like so let's go back out to wireframe smooth so that we can see things better we'll select both of these and, and delete it and grab this O and bring it into place and now this will be the same size as these so I'll just get it level there and then just bring it over into here now if we go back to filled course you'll see that we've got the same font going on inside of the sunflower so that is just another way that you can get this done so that's the easiest way to do it is that offset tool it's kind of hard to explain in a text so I can't really explain this to people when they email me and they say uh, you know how do I do this uh, I can answer them and tell them how to do it but they don't understand what I'm saying so I thought that this should be added to the uh, Lightburn for Noobs series. So welding shapes to text is what we did today.
I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you. And don't forget, we've got that raffle right now going on for the Galvamatic 40. I'll put a link down in the description. So this is a brand new laser coming to the market. And we're going to be giving away two of them on the live launch on March 27th. So you're going to want to enter that raffle and see if you're a winner on March 27th of this month. So anyway, I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Down in Louisiana, where the bayou gleams, the hobby guys engraving with the laser beams, with the cage.